and it's Ken Kratzer for Cam Vets Media with Army Football Practice. Black Knights getting set to play Rice on Saturday. Have a chance to talk to a sophomore who's moved up into the starting lineup at nose tackle, and that is Cody Harris-Miller. And, Cody, uh, good to see it. Uh, a remarkable win uh, down at Florida Atlantic. How did, it, how did it feel for you handling the temperatures and, and just uh, uh, playing well, shutting down that offense? Um, you know, it all starts with the preparation that we went into going into the week, the, especially the look we got on scout team, guys like Sam Waters, Chuck Johnson, Jonah Zimmerman, Nick Moore, Ryan Vanscoy, guys like that made the game so much easier. They made it, made it able for us to slow it down more. And, you know, it just allowed us to just worry about ourselves and playing the next play. The temperature itself, you know, it's not something we control. It's not something the other team could control. We just had to go out there and just give our best effort and play our brand of football and just go out there and do what we practice so much and harp on every single day. Very good. How has your game developed? What have been some of the influences, some of the mentors as, you, as you've moved up into a, a key role at nose tackle for, uh, for the Black Knights? Uh, I can name the entire D-line room, guys like Cody Winokur, Jacob Chiodi, Kyle Lewis, Andre Miller, Trey Sophia, even guys from last year like Darius Richardson, Nate Smith, Chris Frey, Isaiah Felici, Nakai Butler, guys like that have been able to help me since like my first day on campus and it has just made my transition so much better. Like a lot of those guys still text me now, giving me little tidbits and tips to work on, try to elevate my game. And it's all a matter of making not only myself better, but making the guys around me better. So it's been like huge, especially with Cody Winokur, having him in my corner 24-7. Having Jacob Teodi with me as always, and guys like that are really going to help us as an entire defensive unit become better every single day. You're good. How is it? Uh, was it for you to uh, to complete freshman year and now be a sophomore and uh, uh, be well established at West Point? Uh, how is it for you just uh, completing that first year and and now being a sophomore? Um, it was definitely something I had to get used to at first, just like every freshman that uh, comes here does. It's always a, you know, a slow ball roll until you get into the flow of things. And I feel like once I got in that point, coming around closer to the end of the first semester, I kind of was able to get into a grind, get into a flow, and now it's making the second semester so much better. And I'm able to help even the younger guys and try to give them some of the experience I've had, dropping knowledge on them so that when they get in my position, they can just continue to pass it down and continue to build a brotherhood because that's our main goal here, just continuing to keep breeding better and better and better culture each year with each class that comes in. Well, and just tell us, uh, what, what are you studying academically? Uh, I'm actually a sociology major, sir. That's great. My sister is a sociology PhD. She should be proud of you. And tell us, it's so good to see you wearing the Ranger jersey. Uh, uh, what does it mean to you to be recognized by the coaching staff and your teammates? Um, you know, it's a big honor. You know, it takes a lot of work to be not only in the academy, but on this team as well. And just seeing that all the hard work that I've just been pushed for so far by all my teammates, coaches, and just seeing it all come into fruition now, it's just great to see. And it's such an honor to be in the place I'm in now. Cody, where are you, where are you from? Why did you pick West Point? Uh, Middletown, Delaware, Middletown High School. I picked West Point because it's just the culture, the vibe. Like, for my first visit on campus, on uh, I came to the night on the Hudson my going into my senior year, uh, yeah, summer in my senior year, and just stepping on campus and seeing how the guys interact with each other, it's like no other. Like the definition of brotherhood is when you walk into that locker room, you see the guys around you. You walk into the weight room, you see all those guys. It's just unmatched completely. So it was like a no-brainer for me to come here. Hey, that, that's great. And uh, thoughts uh, on uh, preparing for Rice? Um, you know, it's going to be a hard-fought game. There's an extremely, extremely talented uh, offense, extremely talented coaching staff, extremely talented team in general. You know, it's not easy to win any college game. And, you know, you just have to put as much trust and faith to the guys around you and hope that we can all perform and do our jobs to the best of our ability. And I'm going to emphasize again, that's an extremely talented team. I know they're going to come in here like ready to play, ready to win, ready to go out there and try to kick our tail in. So we're just going to try to do the best we can to try to match up with some of those guys. Very good. Cody Harris, Miller, nose tackle, sophomore. Uh, great to see you and best wishes. We'll look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Thank you again, sir. Good to see you. This is Ken Kratzer for Cam Vets Media.